Hello everyone and welcome to my third revision of my Hackintosh uh, component list. I didn't make a video about the second revision because it was very slight. Um, and if you want to see these revisions, then please check out my Facebook page. Now before I go any further, I've got a cold, guys, so I'm really sorry about my blocked up voice and the general low audio quality because my blue snowball is broken. And also, I'm going to be coughing and probably sneezing and sniffing, so I'm really sorry about that. But I've got to get this out because uh, a lot of people are curious, uh, including me. So, for starters, you may notice that the table is a lot smaller. Now this is because... Uh, certain someone that I'm not going to mention yet, I'll mention him uh, when I make the dedicated video, but he has bought basically a load of parts for me, which is awesome. So this table is now smaller because I already have loads of the stuff that I need, which is fantastic. So a huge, huge thank you to you. Like, like I say, um, there'll be a dedicated video where all his links will be posted, blah, blah, blah. I'll do it properly and everything, but for now, this is about the list. Um, but back to that, I am accepting donations. You know, um, you could, if you read this paragraph down here when I post it on Facebook, don't know if the quality would be good enough for you to read it in this video, but if you read this paragraph, then, you know, it kind of explains that, you know, I will be accepting donations because uh, I've got low income due to the fact that I'm trying to grow this channel. Now, yeah, these last two weeks have been a little bit slow, but I'm not going to be... You know, I'm not going to bluntly tell you guys what's been happening, basically. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, anyway, Corsair Obsidian 650D. I'll tell you what, we're going to do what we did last time. I'm going to move this list over to the side, and we're going to go through the Amazon stuff. So I can read this over here, and you guys can take a look at the actual items, because that's more exciting. So um, here we have the 650D. Fantastic case, not changing my mind. That's that. Now then... Uh, moving over to the power supply, a load of people told me not to get the HX 1050. Now, I have spent countless hours researching my arse off over power supplies. Now, there are, there are, of course, better power supplies available. However, this is pretty much the only power supply on the market that has everything that I want. And a lot of that is to do with the cabling, the modular cabling, like... Um, the quality of, you know, like, I can see modular cables out there, and they've got, like, horrible yellow cables poking out the end of the sleeving to connect to the PCIe um, connections, you know, for your graphics cards and stuff. This is the perfect PSU for me, and loads of people have posted really, really good reviews. Anyone that has um, had troubles with it, you know, because it's a piece of electronic equipment, you're going to have troubles with it from time to time, um has been able to send it back and simply get another one. So I don't really see the problem. A lot of people say it's loud and stuff. I'm not building this system to be quiet, quiet, quiet. Um, you know, it's a workhorse system. So, you know, whatever. It's all good. Um, yeah, I still might change it. I'm still not definite. If someone can actually recommend to me a power supply that has perfect modular cables, you know, and is better than this, then go for it. Um, moving on. I am going to go Haswell, this is the 4770K, um, it's something that I've got to do even though the box art is absolutely horrible, but yeah, I'm going to sell my 3770K, so keep an eye, keep your eyes peeled for that on eBay um, in the next few days or next couple of weeks or something if you need that CPU. I'll also tweet the fact that I've posted the CPU on eBay as well, I'm just going to sell um, my old graphics card for my Mac Pro and stuff like that, so yeah, that's just a little side note. But yeah, 4770K, that's pretty much a given, um, that would be really, really cool, looking forward to using it. Um, next is the motherboard. Now, I've thought long and hard about this. This is, you know, obviously a very new board. It's a new platform. This is the Gigabyte Z87X UD5H motherboard. Uh, now, I know these parts look yellow, these parts here on the heat sinks, but they're actually gold. Now, I'm not too keen on the gold stuff, but at least it'll shine in the case. Now, I had a choice between this and the Z87X OC. And if you see that motherboard, it is basically bright bright orange uh, and black so even though I do like the design I really quite like the color the color scheme uh, I'm going for like a white and blue and black white blue and black kind of color scheme with this build so um, yeah that wouldn't have really suited at all so this board has got all the features that I need it's listed in the in the Hackintosh buyers guide as fully compatible so what more could you want it's a nice board I like gigabyte boards I like the ultra durable stuff it's got some nice silver pieces on it as well like I keep saying, the features are really good. Uh, I don't know. I just like it. I'm 
I'm pleased with my choice of board. Um, yeah, and it's basically the Z77X uh, UD5H, but the 87X. So, you know, it's it's pretty much the direct kind of, it's just a newer chipset, newer socket version of the board that I was going to get. Uh, moving on. Now then, as you can see from my list, if I bring my list over, I have changed to only using one graphics card. Um, simply because I can't afford to. This is the MSI uh, GTX 770 Lightning 2GB card. It's a beast card. Really, really nice. Uh, a lot of people are telling me to get a 680. I'm buying, I'm buying a brand new system, guys. I'm building a brand new system. I'm going to get everything from the current generation just so, you know, I, I want to do that. I've never done that before. Even when I was building my first gaming PC, uh, my processor was already pretty much out of date considering the fact that Bulldozer was a couple of weeks around the corner. Um, but yeah, whatever. I'm looking forward to uh, using this card. I would love two of them. I would give anything to have two of them. Um, but considering the amount of non-benefits that I'll get from having two cards in OS X, like, you know, because I use two displays, I could dedicate one card to each display, which is totally cool and doable, but um, it, it, there's just no point. Um, I, I, this is going to be plenty of speed for me and even 1770 under windows for gaming is going to be 10 times better than anything i've got now so i'm really excited <coughs> sorry excuse me guys um next i'm getting two of these 256 gig ssd one for windows one for os 10 simple samsung 840 pro really fast drive one of the best S S one of the best ssds on the market i've got an 830 in my uh in my Mac Pro right now, it's working great, and I've got an 840 non-pro edition downstairs in my parents' computer that works great also. So definitely something that I want to buy. Uh, next, we have Blu-ray drive. Simple, easy, Blu-ray drive, good reviews, sorted. Uh, now then, CPU cooler, you guys are going to be excited. Uh, I had the Corsair stuff listed, I had the Cooler Master Hyper 212 listed in the past, and now I think I've settled on the Cooler Master Sidon uh, 120XL. I really like this cooler. It performs approximately 10 degrees better than its Corsair equivalent uh, on an overclocked i7 at 4.5 gigahertz. It also um, cools quicker, uh, changing back to idle temperature. Uh, it takes 10 seconds over 18 seconds on its Corsair counterpart. It's also a fully Cooler Master um, design they've completely designed it itself it's not um it's not a cool it design or uh what's the other company that make all the other coolers yeah but anyway it's cooler master's own design it's really nice it's a good price it has very very good reviews great performance it comes with two fans with uh rubber isolating mounts which is a really big plus for me uh so no vibrations comes with two fans really really nice um looking forward to that a lot uh, next, we have the fan controller, Sentry LX, just, you know, looks cool in the front. I'm going to have, you know, a card reader um, that's already been bought, which is fantastic. Card reader, uh, Blu-ray drive, and this in the front of the 650D, so that'll fill up all four bays, and it'll look really nice. So, that is my third revision for September the 26th, even though today it's September the 27th, so I'm probably going to change that. Um, just to make it easier for everyone to understand when I upload the video and stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please, the reason I'm doing this is because I want advice. So I'm, I'm dumping a lot of money into this. I'm not going to choose all of the parts on my own and then have loads of people slate me af afterwards. I think my list is becoming more refined. It's getting better and better. Um, but like I say, please, please, please tell me if anything's wrong. I really, really want to hear it. Um, it's very important to me. So thanks again, guys. Hope you guys are all doing okay, and I will see you in the next video.